This video will show you how to initialize an Elite Series device, either an IP camera or DVR and VR. So we'll show you in this example the version that we're using. And you can always get the latest version from securitycamerking.com. So here we're using config tool version 4.09.0. Okay, and then notice one of the cameras is uninitialized. The other two are initialized, so we want this to uh, look the same. So right now it's grayed out. So you want to check the box and then select initialize. Okay. Make sure that's checked inside there too, and then select initialize. And now go ahead and create a password for your device. And then enter an email address for password recovery purposes. Select next. And then you can choose for easy for IP, which is peer to peer, and then auto check for updates. So I just go ahead and select the next. Okay, it did give me an error here, uh, which is stating that it could not detect the cloud uh, peer to peer service because that will still have to be enabled in the camera. Okay, so go ahead and finish and then refresh. And now you'll notice that the camera has been initialized. Okay, so that's how you initialize um, either an IP camera or a DVR, NVR using config tool. Uh, now I'll show you how to use Internet Explorer. Uh, so we're using the same version of config tool. I defaulted the camera. So it's currently in an uninitialized state. Uh, but it is on a static IP of 192.168.1.108. Uh, so we'll go ahead and type that in the browser. And then it'll prompt us to create a password and enter an email address. We'll go ahead and save. And now your device has been initialized. So that's how you initialize an Elite Series device using Config Tool and Internet Explorer. Thank you for watching.